Hey guys, welcome back. I am heading out to Walmart. Um, Got to go get some saw blades. I'm working on a fence in the yard and my saw blade is just tore up. Um, as you saw right there, pulling out from that light, uh, this thing jumps up to 50 in like, you know, a couple card lengths. It takes no time at all. Um, but like I've said in a few other videos, you got to just watch your wheel spin. And especially if it is cold. Um, this is Sunday, beautiful weather. It's probably 65 degrees out. Um, actually enjoying not having to bundle up with the heavy coat and all the other different clothes I have to put on to ride. But um, it's always worth it. I mean, it's actually easier than bicycle riding. I do a lot of bicycle riding, especially I was commuting to work. And mornings where it was like high 20s in the morning, it is harder to bicycle ride. Even though you're exerting energy and keeping war warm, you have a moisture issue to where if that gets cold, you freeze your butt off the rest of the trip pedaling. Um, so you're balancing enough clothes to be comfortable, but not too much clothes to um, start sweating perf you know, profusely and end up getting a chill. I know this has nothing to do with the Riker, but I'm just letting you know that dressing warm riding a motorcycle is a lot easier than doing it on a bicycle that was my point um just keep the wind off of you uh some of these mornings still are about 28 29 degrees and calculated in about a 60 mile an hour wind chill you do not want that wind touching your skin so you got to tuck your gloves in your coat and keep it off your neck um as long as you do that and the wind doesn't get through your coat um like I have a Columbia, which is, has an outer shell that is windproof or resistant. Same with the one I have on now is like very lightweight, but it's a wind jacket and also a raincoat. Um, so they, as long as it doesn't let the wind through, you're fine. Just put a base layer underneath like a sweatshirt and you're perfectly fine. Um, but uh, this is about almost 1230, 1 o'clock. So I am dealing with... Uh, church traffic so the roads are a little busier than normal uh, I'm going to run up here to Home Depot and pick up the saw blades um, as you can see the I mean the Riker handles great excuse me my nose is all stuffed up it is uh, pollen season is starting the blooming of the trees have started and I'm starting to see a little bit on cars um, down here in Virginia so my nose is starting and plus driving and having it whip inside the helmet um, every day almost is almost I drive it almost every day um, is not helping let me change lanes here hold on but uh, I'm going to take the back way off of Ward's Road here because it gets crazy down a little bit further because of all the food places and everybody's going out to lunch after church and I'm heading out to get saw blades I got to get this fence done. I got to work on the gate to keep the dogs in the backyard. Um, what else about the Riker? Um, the, the, I'm running out of things to tell you about it besides it's awesome. I mean, you did hear a couple of my gripes about rust and the clinking and clunking and the rattles. But other than that, this thing is so awesome. I mean, it is fantastic to ride. I enjoy it. It's my pretty much my main means of transportation unless I have the boys with me and we're going out to eat you know then I'll throw them in the old clunker Tahoe the 2002 Tahoe but uh other than that I mean this thing is my go-to I, I run to the store throw the whatever I'm buying in the bags as long as it's something I mean you got to think a little bit um and also plan it out to where if you're out on this and you have to pick something up you got to just do a little uh planning but um, that's it. I mean, you like sitting here at a light, you don't have to worry about balancing it. Um, I have a bad leg from when I was growing up. It's not real bad. I mean, I run still and I bike ride, but I still have to watch my hip. I mean, it's you know sensitive at times. And I know balancing my motorcycle, it, it got tricky a couple times where it wants to cramp up on me. This, you don't have that worry. You just you know, put on the brake and sit there. Um, other than that, it is uh, fantastic than um, 
let me hold on let me calculate this here okay nobody's turning i just got to watch cars this is very busy intersections through here and a lot of people are not paying attention so i don't want to get sidetracked talking and not watching all the cars around me making turns um i feel this has a little better visibility i don't mean to jump around like you know a little uh sidetracked on conversations here but talking about visibility it i feel it's a little more visible than a motorcycle um, you take up more of the lane the headlights seem more visible from what i've seen it because it also has the driving lights on the fenders in the front um, i may add some brake lights to the back because it only has the two on the fenders and they're pretty low so i may put some up under the seat or underneath the top bag <laughs> little kids waving at me he's probably saying who's this idiot on this bike or whatever this thing is he waves that's the one thing I like about outside of a car. I mean, you're more connected with people around you. Sometimes it's bad. But um, a lot of times the kids will wave at you. I've had people pull up next to me on the highway videotaping me and taking pictures. What the heck? Hold on. Detour. Uh, must be from the storms. They're working on the road up there. Okay, we got to go through the neighborhood here. Um, so you're more connected. I mean, you're not as locked into glass and metal and it's impersonal i mean that that to me that's part of what's happening to society it's all impersonal you you sit at a table and text people across the table from you so this you know bike riding is the same way or running you know it, it gets you out and meeting more people and um it gets you exposed more to the elements you can smell you know if you ever walk in your neighborhood or ride a bicycle you smell everything that people are cooking at night or on the grill you smell flowers perfume cars going by with you know girls in it that have perfume on you could smell let me make a turn here and then i'll make another turn up here and just pretty much go around the neighborhood um but yeah i mean you could smell everything some of it's bad especially if you are traveling down the road and you got a skunk up ahead of you you know dead skunk that's bad news especially on a bicycle because you're not going very fast and you got to deal with it even longer that's horrible um but uh and i'll make a turn up here after i pass this little island but yeah so i, I think it gets you more connected more exposed but um it is uh very very enjoyable to ride this thing it's such a relaxation especially after work it makes the ride more enjoyable coming home you just scoot right along um, I mean you do have to pay attention it's not like a car it's not where you see a lot of people looking down at their phones and just driving down the lane and you know zigzagging or swerving I mean you can't do that on this so you have to watch you know who's pulling out in front of you who's not paying attention especially behind you when you come up to lights are they watching their phone or texting um no nobody would ever do that but you know is anybody texting and going to run into you so i mean you have to watch if they're coming up on you too fast i always pump my brakes a couple times to get them to see the brake lights maybe a little bit sooner um but yeah that's you know it's so enjoyable you just do have to pay attention you can't daydream so you know hold on a second you know what instead of going all the ways across town to home depot i am going to go right up here and hang a right and i'm gonna go stop in walmart i mean i only need saw blades so i can run in through the garden section and grab some saw blades from there um i go through them pretty quick anyway it's not like i need to go and buy a 30 dollar saw blade i'm not a carpenter by no means I probably won't use them again after this project for another six months. Hopefully. That means I'm out riding and fishing and stuff other than working on the house. So let me go past these townhouses and I'm going to make a right and cut through uh, CVCC here. And I wonder if they have a motorcycle class. This is where I took my motorcycle classes up here at CVCC. And now they offer a three-wheeler class and let me see the parking lots right here to the right and it looks like they are looks like they got a class for um three wheelers there they are look at them look at all the guys down there taking the class so they can get their license that's awesome that is so fantastic um but yeah you take it, it's like a friday saturday and sunday 
and when you're done with the class you have your license and everything so all you have to do is go to DMV and get a new license with it documented on there and you're all set so it's a really cool course too I mean um, I learned a whole lot you know about riding a motorcycle I thought I knew a fair amount about it but they taught you a lot more and control of the motorcycle little tips and tricks and it, it, one thing yeah that's it one thing with this I was meaning to bring it up in another conversation is like on a motorcycle you come up on a big bump you can stand up on your pegs and let the bike absorb the shock you know the bounce and you don't have to bounce all over the place well this with the foot pegs so far forward it's very awkward to pull your butt up off the seat so you don't get jolted like running over a pothole or a speed bump or you know not a speed bump but any kind of bump it you have to like pretty much pull yourself up with the handlebars and just teeter over the seat it's really weird it's not like a motorcycle a motorcycle it's a lot easier to stand up on the pegs but this is awkward that's one thing i found it's it's a little hard to get up on them to get your butt off the seat so you don't get bounced all over all right let me find a parking spot up in here and go pick up a saw blade this is worse than the roads driving in a parking lot is 10 times worse and dangerous than driving on the roads people are more interested in who texted me while i was shopping and where's the closest parking spot because i don't want to walk um and that's the other thing when you're driving especially on a bike even in a car you should do it but people don't is make eye contact i mean i make sure these people are staring at me eye to eye even then it's there's no guarantee but that on this, I make sure people look at me and acknowledge that I'm there or um, am coming by them. All right, let me park right here, and I will catch you guys in a little bit. I may try to video side inside the store. Hold on. all righty that was fast and easy um ran in ran out right out of the garden section um didn't have to deal with any kind of lines or anything like that but um that's the other thing i love the way they put the self checkouts all up in the front they cut down to like two or three cashiers and then they have all these self checkouts so i i always say i don't work for you guys one thing i'm paying for the food there two i don't work there so i believe that you guys should be employing people and letting them work and do their job and get paid and support their families and not have us buy food plus do your job for you so i i think that's a crock you know with the self checkouts everybody's like oh it's so much faster and no i don't want faster or easier that's part of the food that's part of the cost of the food is to have customer service and interconnect you know inner relations with not inner relations but you know connecting with people like the cashiers and stuff um so they're like uh you know let's save our top dollar you know save our overhead and have the public do that job for us plus we'll still charge them I didn't see the price go down on any food or anything like that when they put the self-checkouts in because they saved money on employees. Okay, that's my gripe. Let's get riding here. So, I hope that made sense about the self-checkout. All right, traffic. This is, it's about 1 o'clock right now, so you definitely got the traffic with all the food along here. I went through the neighborhood up here to the right. Um and took the back road in so I didn't have to deal with all this on this road this gets a little crazy and this is where you got to watch people not paying attention and you're hitting you from the rear um, I always keep an eye out in back of me and make sure they're you know paying attention and slowing down if it looks like they're coming up on you too fast either get out of the way or 
tap on your brakes, you know, to try to get them, you know, aware that you're stopped. Um, that's probably one thing I will do is add a brake light up under the seat or underneath the bag, the rear bag right behind me. So it's up higher and brighter. Anyway, you guys have seen this before. I come down this road quite often coming home from work. Um, it's just a fairly easy access. If you don't get stopped by all the lights on here going into all the shopping centers, um, it's pretty quick. So it looks like I will make it through most of the lights and cruise right on up past the airport. Um, I'm still have not ordered it, but I need to order it a 65 millimeter 12 point socket. You can get them online. I've checked in. You can get them on either Amazon or eBay, and they're right around I don't know from 30 to 45 bucks. Um, it's for the nuts for the wheels because it's got that one large nut in the center that takes your wheels off, and I don't see if I need to have a tire fix maybe a flat tire or something i don't need to try to you know put trailer it all the way to the shop to get the tire fixed you know, i'd rather take it off hold on here we go let's get up 70 there's 80 there you go 80 miles an hour i don't condone that <laughs> i was just playing around getting around cars um but anyway yeah so you know if i get a flat tire or anything like that i can just take the tire off and take it to them or if I want to do the brakes on it, which I will. Um, any other reason you need to take the tire off. You know, you need to use that socket. And for 30 or 40 bucks, it's worth it. Definitely. So, just checking my little parking brake thing. Because that thing's always popping out and rattling like a son of a gun. And somebody mentioned that it is... Um, if you use that lock, the park and brake lock, it's like an aftermarket. It's, uh, I don't know, 25 bucks you can buy them. That that will stop it from happening. So I need to do that also. I got to get on the ball. I've just been working and trying to get this yard work done. There we go. Um, I need to get this stuff ordered and get it all done. But as you see, I normally take off an average just like a car. You know, I don't, just because it can get to zero to... 50 in two seconds or one second it doesn't mean I have to do it every time but um, that is it I hope everybody's enjoying their beautiful weekend if you live anywhere in the south part where the weather has changed fairly nice compared to what we've had um, if you're up north I think you're still dealing with cold wet and snow so Anyway, that's about it. I really don't have much more to say about the Riker. I do need to put some uh, WD-40. Somebody mentioned that on my rust spots down in the steering column and that screw hole to prevent more rusting there. And what else was I going to do? Oh, I think it's about time I should check the oil because I think I'm coming up on eight or 900 miles on this thing already. I've checked it once already, and I think that's fairly... I don't know if I did it right the first time because it's fairly elaborate on how you have to do it. You have to ride so many miles, park, and check it within 10 seconds or something like that because it drains. So it's I don't think I did it the right way when I first did it. I know I checked my crankcase um, transmission or whatever you want to call it. That was fine. Um, but I need to do the oil again. I saw a video on it and it, it had a lot of steps you had to go through and you had to be real careful. So I will do that again, probably coming up uh, this week. I'll find a nice day and get that done. I am still working on graphics for the front of this. We are coming up with different ideas. I mean, everybody's buying them. They're selling quicker than the dealers can keep them or can get, can get them. So I've seen you know, a few people online where they have the black with the little red panels. So I want to make mine unique. You know, make it customized to me, my personality. Which may be a little dangerous because it's kind of a sick one. But other than that, my road is coming up up here. And I want to thank everybody for the comments on my other videos. Uh, saying that they enjoy them, they like them. Um, 
and they've been asking some questions about it, which I love. You know, that's what that's the only reason I do them. I'm not trying to show off, and I'm not talking about the bike like I'm some expert. I'm far from it. Um, but I just enjoy it, and if anybody's interested in it or just loved riding and they own one and they just like watching them, then well, that's what it's for. It is strictly for that. I'm not trying to build a huge audience and make money and everything like that. Um, I am just enjoying myself with this and letting everybody else enjoy it and come along for the ride and ask questions if you have any. If you haven't bought one, you can ask me questions about them. So you make sure you're making the right decision. And if you bought one and you still have some questions, it's a, it seems to be a really cool community. Um, I've asked questions to other guys that have them and that are more knowledgeable than I am about it and they've helped me out. Um, people have answered some of my questions just in their videos. And then some of the videos are just like mine where it's just somebody driving around and it's enjoyable. It's nice to see their, their scenery and surroundings. Anyway, this is my road. I'll talk to you guys again. Enjoy yourselves. Bye.